What's going on, Flip Captain? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Store video. My name is Creek, and guys, the brand new Cybertruck update is finally here. And in this video, we're gonna be going over everything you need to know, the full guide, everything you need to know with this brand new update. Before we hop into this, though, uh, a few things. First off, I've been streaming this update for the past like four hours, like I normally do on update night. So I apologize if I seem a little tired. Secondly, please do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new or if you haven't already subscribed. It helps me out, and uh, yeah, you know. It's, it's a great way to support me. So thank you. All right. So the January Roblox jailbreak update. Happy 2020. The Cybertruck, Spike Traps, and Grass. Grass is now in the game. So let's just, let's hop into it with the police. So we're going to climb up here and you guys are going to see Grass is now in the game. Now, the first thing you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, that, <laughs> I just fell. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I hope my computer can run that. And well, yes, it can. You actually get better performance with the grass like this than you did before. So not only does the game look prettier, but it actually performs better too which is really nice and stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm actually going to show you guys a cool little trick that you can use to hide in the grass and hide from police with but anyway you guys are here because you want to know all about that cyber truck so let's go ahead and let's do wait can i just buy it straight from oh yeah i was about to say if i could buy it straight from there that'd be a little weird so the cyber truck is inside of the city where you want to go is over here right next to the weapon shop and oh it's not there it... oh there it is so here it is it's only seventy five thousand dollars not not robux nothing nothing like that no no 500 robux seventy five thousand jailbreak dollars which isn't actually a lot you can get that in probably about 10 20 minutes so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna buy this thing three two one boom there we go and uh let's let's take a look at this thing guys so here is the brand new cyber truck with the uh the musky tag you know the elon musk and right off the bat it's actually pretty decent you're gonna notice that it's not the fastest car in the game not not at all but it is actually quite fast if you do upgrade it so let's go ahead and let's take a look at this obviously you can add all the normal upgrades to it including the engine upgrade for level five and if we go ahead and do that level five engine upgrade you're gonna see that this car starts being a lot faster it's actually considerably faster and the top speed on this thing is actually pretty good for a seventy-five thousand dollar car again it's not a torpedo it's not a bugatti but this this is actually pretty good and we're gonna do a, a little speed test here to see just how good it is so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put a timer up on the screen and we're just gonna go ahead and race this thing so three two one go here we go and i'm just gonna try to stay in the lines here because obviously you guys are wanting you know you're gonna want to know can we use this can we use the cyber truck is it a valid vehicle to use in the game to escape cops with and well judging from the timer here and everything uh boom there we go there's there's the final time right there is it is it a good time so the closest vehicle in comparison is obviously the lamborghini so we're gonna go ahead and spawn that in i'm gonna put the timer back up three two one go and uh, i'll let you guys be the judge obviously the cyber truck is seventy five thousand. the lamborghini is one hundred thousand. so you know you guys be the judge does it need to be buffed does it need to be nerfed is the cyber truck even worth buying you guys let me know down in the comments comment section below and obviously i'll do another video with more in-depth speed tests a little bit later but there is the final time with the lamborghini and here are the two final times right next to each other cybertruck and lamborghini so is the cybertruck worth it you guys let me know down in the comment section below but let's go ahead let's check out the rest of the cybertruck so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna spawn this bad boy in here it is and something to point out is this is a very nice car you have one slot two slots three slots four slots five slots six six i can't even talk six slots this vehicle can literally carry six people at one time you have one in the back another one in the back and then obviously the driver's side the passenger and then two in the back here as well so man this this is a pretty good vehicle for attacking and carrying around your squad in like i said i'll do more in-depth speed test videos on this bad boy over the next few days so make sure you're subscribed for that but for right now let's check Thank you out these bad boys which is the the spike traps how do these things work what are they let's get into it okay so how these spike traps work and i just joined a public server so i can show this off here but how they work you equip them you just automatically get them as a bro i'm trying to do a video here chill relax dude i was gonna let you live man i was gonna let you live chill bro oh my gosh the arresting bug is still in the game so for the people wondering can you arrest people uh no the arresting bug is still in the game so although this is a good 
point, uh, a good time to show. If you press V, you actually have a brand new camera option with your weapons. Um, it goes back to the old system like it used to be, which is which is pretty cool. You don't have to be locked into this mode anymore. You can press V and uh, and get that, that nice range of motion there. So that's cool. That only works on PC, by the way. But anyway, uh, you get these by default. You just equip them. You put them down and you can put them anywhere. So you can't put them, you know, there's a max range here, as you can see, but you put them down. And now what's going to happen is whenever someone drives over this, that is a criminal, you will automatically get 10% of their bounty, literally 10% of their bounty, just like that. And it will it will consume this item right here off the ground, but it will also destroy their tires. Their tires will go bye bye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna show this off in practice here. But also what I want to say is police were also buffed. Police people now get double the money than they did before, which is really nice for the police team. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put down a spike trap right here next to this light, and I'm just gonna drag it across the road like. The, okay. Oh, I already have one. You can only have one active at a time. So I'm going to push the destroy all button. That's going to delete my other ones. And now I can put another one down. And now... It's going to activate it right there. And this guy right here, what's going on? Shout out to this guy right here with his cyber truck. He's going to drive over it and it's going to it's going to pop his tires. It's also going to give me 10% of his bounty as well. So there we go. He's driving across and uh, I'm going to just tell him to go for it. Let's see. Go for it. And he's just going to drive across. Boom. It consumed the item and you can hear it also popped his tires. So that's pretty awesome. That's a nice little trap there that you guys can do. Now, obviously, you can put down another one immediately if you want, just like that. But you can only have one active at a time and boom there you go again so it's pretty cool we're getting some xp for that and we're also getting some of his bounty i'm gonna go ahead and tell him thanks very very nice him thank you very much now if you guys are wondering some really good spots to put this down literally right in front of the prison here just pop it down right here on this road because obviously if anyone drives across it trying to escape boom it's gonna get them and you're gonna get some xp and some money another good spot is right here on this bridge because obviously a lot of people are gonna be coming across the bridge so boom there you go put it on the oh i gotta destroy my other one there we go okay so if i put it right here and drive Drag it across as much as possible. And there we go. Whole bridge is covered. Anybody comes across the bridge, you got them. And I'm probably going to do a full on video on like really good spots to put this out at. But obviously, another really good spot is actually right here. You can just kind of spread it across the entire road like that. And oh, let me destroy the other one. There we go. Keep forgetting about that. Put it right on over here. Just going to get it in the right spot but just just far enough right there so now if anybody comes this way you got them anybody comes this way you got them and if anybody's coming this way or this way you got them just like that now i also want to mention that they did nerf the jetpack quite a bit um you can't refill in the air anymore you actually have to be on the ground to refill and i do believe they actually limited the amount of places you can fly at let's see if you can actually even fly near the yeah yeah you can't fly on the museum anymore it won't let you i'm trying to get up they nerfed it man you can't fly out of the museum with the jetpack anymore they added no fly zones dude i'm trying to fly but it ain't working dude yeah you can't you can't fly in robberies anymore guys that's it that's the end of that also another thing to point out too i can't really show this right here because i'm the only one on a vip server and it's like four o'clock in the morning but uh, i do believe they also removed the fire truck glitch so you can't do that in inside the robbery anymore either but basically you got to rob them all, the the museum by you know how it's supposed to be robbed now now one thing i do want to show you guys that's a cool little trick that you can do now with the grass is if you actually make your avatar in a little little ghillie suit here i got a little ghillie suit hat and some camouflage obviously i changed the color of my skin to green now if i reset here you can actually set up some pretty cool traps so obviously i'm going to blend into the grass a little bit here like literally just sit right here yeah i'm literally invisible yeah literally can't even see me right now like that's how good this is so what you can do is you can just pop one of these bad boys right across the road just like that and let me actually destroy the ones i already have keep forgetting about that put it right there and then i'm just gonna hide right here behind this tree so they can't see my name just like this they can't see me and then as soon as they come driving across boom do pull out your handcuffs and bada bing bada boom you got them and yeah that's pretty much it with this update they made the soccer ball a giant green ball now with the grass and yeah it's pretty much it we got the cyber truck we got the grass we got the the spike traps for the police police team gets double the money now as they did before the jetpack got nerfed and you can't use it in robberies anymore and i'm pretty sure that's about it yeah so uh the other thing as well is if you press v while you're aiming down you can actually go into the old classic aiming mode which is 
pretty cool. Again, only works on PC, doesn't work on mobile or Xbox, just on PC there. And obviously it works with any weapon at all. You just press V on your keyboard by default and uh, there you go. So really, really nice, meaning you can, you can do stuff like this, you know, aim all the way out and still fire your weapon. Pretty nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. I think it's a pretty awesome update. I think they're doing a really good job with the game now. Obviously, the the season four update wasn't that great, but this update is uh is doing really great. I'm liking it. I'm liking the cyber truck, and uh, we're gonna have a lot more awesome videos coming out on this update over the next few days. So make sure you guys are subscribed for those. You star code real creep when you're buying your Robux, your premium stuff like that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. I'll see you guys later on in a live stream. Bye.